What's up YouTube? Today I, I didn't have an intro for this series and so I'm doing it now. Uh, this is the first part of the swap. The first thing I get to put on for the swap kit is the oil pickup tube. And sticky scent with the pan, with the pan that's over here, I have an S chassis E30 oil pickup tube. So let's check this out. Alright, I open it up. Has a pickup tube. Has the O-ring already on. So I want to oil this. Find out what bolt or what nut I got to take off for there. Let's come over to the engine. The oil pickup will go here. So I gotta take off the second one. Okay, so I'll take off the second nut. Uh, oil this and get the bolt and get it ready. All right, because the oil pickup sits here and the bolt goes here, you have to put on the other one and loosen the second one. These get torqued down to 18 foot-pounds. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on oil pump bolt. But let's get the oil pickup in first. Okay, with the oil pickup O-ring, we we'll want a little seal of oil, new oil, obviously. I mean, that should always be obvious. But put a little a little bit on there just to help it seat get it lined up with the second hole and it just kind of snaps right in there so you can see a little bit closer you get the oil pickup put it on the second bolt you get it lined up here and then you get it pushed up right into Oil pump. It kind of pops into place. Now let's get this bolt off. And I get my bolt and my stick Loctite. I'll just get a little bit on there. I just don't want this backing out. Put a little bit up on there. get down in the hole and I am also going to torque this to 18 foot-pounds actually let me check let me check this might be inch pounds on this one I'm, I'm pretty sure all right like I suspected yeah this smaller bolt is hundred and six inch pounds and I have well, I have nothing. I gotta get the socket. But I have this set. I couldn't get it to 106. I was able to get the 108. So we'll just go 108. It's not that much more. There we go. All right. And then again, the bigger bolt is 18 foot pounds. So let's change this up to foot pounds and go up to 18. All right. Now we're going to look at putting some gray RTV on each corner. Let me show you here. Put some gray on here, on each corner where the covers meet the bolt. And then we'll put the oil pan gasket, then we put the oil pan on. Okay, I went and picked up a small tube of gray. I had black, but I 
everyone I see uses gray, so I didn't, I don't think it'll really make much of a difference, but I'm just gonna stay with what everybody else uses, what, what it also calls for. So put a nice big old bead on here. Give you a close up. All right, so I got bead on there. My bead on there. I'm gonna spread that a little, get a little more. The bead on the front. Now we can get the this. I'll spread this up a little bit. Get the gasket on there, and then the oil pan. Right, we'll put our gasket on. holes to line up. Let's get our oil pan. Be careful not to hit the pickup. Slowly lower it on. Okay, and from what it looks like, we'll use all the stock oil pan bolts minus Two that Siki supplied in the front that are Allen keyed. Let's get these partially threaded in. Also, you have the two rear, they're thin ones. These also go to, was it 106 inch pounds, where these larger ones go to 18 foot pounds. Just lining these up. It's pretty cold, so nothing's going to dry super fast. I'm just kind of star patterning, star patterning this from one side to the next. Once I got these kind of on, I need to make sure that the back of the oil pan and the actual engine are fairly well lined up. So Siki with the swap kit sends you a little pack with some bolts. Uh, the black ones are for the oil pan. I believe these two silver ones are for the bottom of the transmission. There's also a little plug. I think this black little plug. This black little plug in here is for uh, the dipstick, but on the 2004, the dipstick is in the pan, not on the block like a lot of them, so I don't even have to worry about that. Uh, so, yeah, these black ones go in the, I, they, blah, blah, blah. they originally had just one, I'm guessing they're sending two now. And these are hex bolts. And you can't really get a, a wrench in there these are the hex bolts I don't understand why you really have to use these I mean the other bolts will fit although they're a little they're a little tight actually I think yeah you can't get they kind of touch okay so they touch with the fan and these are a little bit smaller so put the hex head inside so that's why they have a foot okay. all right I went ahead and 
tightened down and then I backed off these uh, oil pan bolts and then I still need to get the two rear these are these long these long bolts here so these long bolts go to 106 inch pounds these bigger bolts go to 18 foot pounds and I'm figuring I went ahead and pushed and it's pretty well looks pretty well lined up with the block and then pushed it and, and pulled it try to get it lined up there's not too much movement that you could do once these uh, rear bolts are in there anyway so you're probably pretty close once you get once the bolts go in you know it's 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 pretty close to being in anyways all right my camera my phone ran out of battery but I went ahead and torqued these down 18 foot pounds 106 inch pounds take these nice and slow you don't want these snapping off and then it's a I believe a six millimeter for an allen head and get those torqued down okay now on to the motor mounts and these things these sicky motor mounts, you can see on the inside, if you get up close, that's driver side. And then look on this side is uh, upside down. And that is the passenger side. And these things are built solid. They are, I'm really impressed. These are really nice. Uh, these things, the bushings came uh, unattached. They had to screw them down uh, into the hole, into the screw holes there, and then we'll just load them up over here. All right, the motor mounts get torqued down to 65 foot pounds. I'll probably do two passes. Probably do a 35 and then a 65 uh, for two passes. This is where the labeling and the organization really comes in handy. I was able just to pull out my bag, or pull out the box that had all the bags in them, find the engine mount bolts, and here they are. Easy enough. Instead of digging around through a whole bunch of stuff trying to fight, figure them out. Well, after looking through my mount kit bag with bolts, I found the actual engine mount bolts I don't know if these would work or not, but they, I mean, they probably would be, they probably would fit, but maybe they're, they're too short. You can see these are a bit longer. So use the sticky supplied ones. Uh, you have your driver's side. Let's make sure that's driver's side again. Last digit D, driver's side, and you'll put it on, you put it on the front to where it's facing toward, the mount is actually toward the back end. You get your bolts and actually you can see the sickies upside down so when you flip it over it's going to be right side up but go ahead and get the bolt started and they have the one washer on the end and after I get these on I really have I mean, there's nothing else for the engine. I do need to still do the valve cover gaskets, but I mean, I'll flip it back over. You know, I'll probably want to hook up the uh, the dipstick because I don't want to. I want to put some oil in it, kind of rotate it around, make sure though. You know, it's get picking up in the oil pump. Uh, you could also use when you flip it back over this plug here. You take it out and then put a hose down and put some oil in and it'll go directly down into the uh into the oil pump to make sure it's lubricated up all right well let's do our first pass at 35 foot pounds all right i went ahead and looked i tried the american i tried 5 ace it was a little bit small tried 11 16 so it was a little bit big 
I ended up settling on 17. And again, this is our first pass at 35. Now we want to go up to 65. Alright, 65.25 I'm sure is okay. All right, let's double check. All right, 65. All right, same thing as the driver's side, facing toward the rear, sickies upside down, P is the last digit. And we can get these started. And of course, same as driver's side as well. I'll do a first pass at 35 foot pounds and then a second at 65. First pass, 35. All right, go back up to 65. And just tighten them up a little bit, not too much. Not tightening it all, not tightening it all the way down till it is torqued because I think that might be too much. Probably could do like a third pass, but this works. 65. 65. 65, let's check one more time. 65. 65. 65, all right. Motor mounts are done. Also, I went ahead and measured from the crank snout to the tip of the harmonic balancer on each side and it was 0.125 distance away and that's within spec you, you don't want it to have it any more than 0.175 so i'm just keeping the the original stock bolt in there for now uh once i get a because it's got to get torqued down to 235 foot pounds uh the arp one I'm going to do that probably once I get it in the car and, or at least have the flywheel on if I can get a little bit of uh, leverage on it. All right, well, the engine is ready. You just need to flip it back over and then good to go. the engines back upright and well that's all I got it's pretty cold it's in the 30s for some reason today but I wanted to get this stuff done change the pilot bearing but I'm gonna have to get a hoist to change the pilot bearing put on the clutch put on transmission and it's ready to drop in uh, but before that I'm gonna start uh, pulling the KA out of my uh, S14 stay tuned I got a lot more peace